Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on BQM, Block Quest Maker. Uh, this is like a, a game making piece of software. I believe it's a little bit like Zelda Classic, uh, in the, you know, you use it to make Zelda sort of games, but it might be a bit different in terms of what you can build, so... I haven't played it at all yet, I haven't looked at any trailers or anything. It just happened to be massively discounted, so I grabbed it, and now we're gonna find out what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me remember to turn on my full screen projector, there we go, so that I will not be distracted looking at my own face the whole game. Uh, do not exit or turn the power off while the game is saving, bottom left corner. Okay. Welcome to the BQM world. My name is Imomo, and I will show you... I'll swipe it a bit faster. My name is Momo, and I will show you around. First, let me introduce you to BQM. Okay. There are two kinds of people in this world. Builders who create dungeons, and divers who challenge them. Don't worry, you can do both if you wish. You can become a diver as your main job, and builder when you need some break. First of all, let's learn some BQM world rules from diver's perspective, and take a look at our team's official dungeon. Begin your adventure! Let me see. A bunch of options on screen. I guess I want to explore? Your diver adventure begins. Here you can enter new dungeons, our most popular ones, and those published by our Builders Guild. Trophies determine your diver accomplishments. The more dungeons you clear, the more trophies you collect, and the more your rank is influenced. You can finally challenge dungeons with your preference by searching tags. Puzzle? Action? Which genre is your favourite one? Let's check out the official dungeon of the basic rules of BQM World. Good luck! Uh, the official dungeon is a dungeon... I was reading that. Uh, I guess I'll start at the beginning. I'm not sure what the numbers in here mean. Okay, so I'm getting the impression it's a bit like Mario Maker. In the way that you go into levels and stuff. Try to turn the switch on. Play? Burn trees with fire. Try turning the switch on. Uh, this one? Okay, so... Uh, if, I'm, if the right circle lets me look around like this, it doesn't tilt the camera, which is what I was expecting it to do. I can zoom out by pressing L. Holding L, more like. Uh... Oh, I can, I can click the stick in order to change the camera angle around a bit, which is nice. I think everyone is making jokes about the game being too hard, because it's clearly very, very easy at this stage. Turn to town, I guess? But you can see it's got a, like a voxel sort of style, uh, popularized by Minecraft, but a lot of games do this sort of thing. Boop. Okay, so you can make a uh, Sokoban style games by the looks of things if you want. That's the sort of thing you're in the mood for. Oops. Okay, so I took a little damage there, but I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, you could. You didn't have to put the button on the, the box on the switch there. You could have put out two boxes and made a bridge that way, which would have worked fine. Item walkthrough? Oh yeah, I have arrows and bombs and things. It's kind of giving me, uh, Ultima vibes. Uh, I wasn't very good at Ultima. As a kid I had Ultima 7, I had no idea what to do with it, but it, it kind of feels a bit like that. Uh, which is nice. Arrows, bombs, boxes, and wands. Okay. Um... I guess I'm supposed to use my arrows. Oh, I bet, I bet I can shoot through this. Phew. There we go, yes. Give me them bombs. That alpha bomb. Good stuff. I can get a box, which I can press Y to place. And I can fall in the water and take damage by accident. So it's not quite like a Zelda, it's very uh, tile based. Uh, whereas Zelda, you usually had a bit more free movement. So, what do wands do? 
Uh, X? Oh, I can move across by pressing X, okay. Nothing? I'm not sure what ones are for. Uh, uh oh. I think ones might be for setting things on fire. Uh, let's see if I can use a bomb instead. I cannot. Oh no! Uh, retry. Yes. I think I've made a mistake. <laughs> Wait, did one of these say eat the rich? Eat the rich, get money. <laughs> Very good. Phew. Okay, then I get the bombs. Looks like people can leave, like, little messages when they die. Which, again, that reminds me of Mario Maker. You can do the same thing in that game. Okay, so we want to shoot an arrow that way to hit the little lever. And we want to get the wand and use it over here to burn the tree. Okay. That's better. Oh no, watch for rolling rocks. We try to do it without pressing A, I suppose. I don't think there's anything that you have to press A for in this game, so I should be fine. <laughs> uh... Ah. Uh, oh, I see. I can leave a gravestone uh, to, like, put a message down, but I'm just going to retry. Okay, so I think if I dodge to the side quickly, I should, yeah, be safe from the rock. thought so. And now the rock becomes a little bridge, so I can get across here. Play dungeon. So you can build little, it, it, it feels a lot like things like Sokoban and, um, like, more enhanced clones of that, like Rocks and Diamonds, for example. That's a pretty good game if, you, if you're looking for, like, a free grid-based puzzle sort of thing. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see, I've got a wand. Can I get the candle? Uh, no, but I can set it on fire. Like that. What do you want me to do? Do I put the fire out? Yes, I do. Okay. I wonder if I can turn off showing the gravestone comment. Because you'd often want to do that when you're playing. I got a meat? Oh, I see. Getting meat has advanced my little critter on the top screen there. Got a sword? I assume this unlocks some cool stuff as I progress or something. Um, let's see. Option. Configuration. Language English. A couple of different options. Yeah, I can turn off gravestone messages like this. Uh... This is definitely giving me a lot of Mario Maker vibes, as well as feeling a lot like uh, games like Rocks and Diamonds. Uh, Chips Challenge uh, is kind of like this too. Uh, that game's pretty good. L lots of games that are basically soaker bound with more mechanics uh, tend to feel more or less like this. I'm using the D-pad to move. I think, yeah, you can use the left stick if you want, but the D-pad's probably simpler because it's grid-based. There we go. I took a hit, but I'm fine. Frozen world. I'm guessing the ice makes me slide until I hit something. It sure does. Get this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. Uh, we'll go this way, we'll go this way. This, and we make it. I'm not sure if you can build more of a world rather than all these like finite individual puzzle sort of levels. 
I would like to, because one of my favourite parts of a Zelda is having a big overworld you can explore. Ow. Okay, you can just sort of tank it, and it's not that hard. <laughs> Hide and seek? Where's the key? Search for it. Um... Do I have to kill the slimes, or are they just gonna get in my way forever? Oh, I can! Okay. I can match the A button, and that's attack. And I guess I leveled up? Oh, I see, I'm getting experience. Oh, is that the key? It doesn't look like a key, but... Oh no, it's just money. I think that's the key in the corner there. No, that's more meat. Where is the key? <laughs> I think leveling up heals you, maybe? Not super clear. Oh, there's a key. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit strange. Crafting. Yeah, I wouldn't really describe this as like Zelda, or even though it has a similar, I guess, vibe to it. It's not that kind of game. Do I want to hit that? Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I do. I'm not sure what that achieved. Oops. Wait. Oh, when it's oh, I see. When they're down, they drop the raft. They they block the rafts from going through rather than when they're up. I get it now. Okay. It took me a second. <laughs> okay, so we want to get onto this raft. We can do like this. Not that hard, actually. Oh, no, yes, clear, clear the dungeon. Okay. Uh, one ways, of course, because this is, feels a lot like Mario Maker. It has to have one ways. Uh... Okay, so it's like a conveyor belt kind of thing. It just pushes you forward all the way. Oh my. <laughs> okay, let's get over here. Uh, try this one. Okay, good. Meet, meet, meet. Okay, so we want to get into that hole there, but there's no way to do that. Oh, 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 hang on, I was in the right place before. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get back over there. Uh, then we've got to go into one of these, and it'll do that. And then we can leave. Okay. <laughs> Just don't be reckless with arrows. Have to kill everything? Is that the idea? It'd be nice to be able to change my direction without moving forward. I'm not sure if there's a way to do that. Oh! You can fall off the end. Did not know that.
Oh, I see. They fall down. I don't really want that to happen. What's in here? Open the treasure chest. Did there anything inside? I'm confused now. Like I said, everything you walk on drops down. Look at that. What does that do? Mm, not much. Oh, you need to flip both of them in order to get the exit, I see. And I messed it up, so... Oh, that's what that does. It said minus 3D view. Uh, what that does is, is make you look from behind, which is not helpful. <laughs> oh, it does give you tank control, so it's a bit easier to aim in different directions. That's something. Maybe I can dash with the R button? Okay, let me see here. I'm thinking maybe I didn't mess it up. I just thought I did. Because I actually do have boxes right now, I can do this. And then I can go over here and leave. You can get the treasure chest, but I don't really care. There's gonna be anything in it. <laughs> Good timing is the key. What do we do here? Hmm. What button do? Oh, that make, that's the one that made the boulder go, I think. Let's retry. Oh, hello! That makes that come up. What I want to do, I think, is push that to there and then go boop. Can that help me? Not really? Oh, wait, I get it now. Hang on, we're gonna restart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we leave the crate where it is. Uh, we walk over here, we put this, get the rock to fall down, and we can push the crate here and get stuck in the corner because this is a poker band game. Okay, what am I missing? <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I was supposed to make a bridge on this side. The crate. <laughs> This isn't quite what I was expecting, but it's fun, so... It doesn't really matter that much that it's a little bit different from what I was expecting. Uh, yeah, you push that over here, you make a bridge this way, and then you can cross. Easy. <laughs> Hidden box. Changing directions is a little bit tricky. Okay, that's a box. Push, push. Hmm. Get over here, but... Hmm. Hmm. What am I missing here? Oh, I do have an arrow. That might be helpful. And I can... Okay, okay there is a lever on that side. I forgot about my arrow. Hang on. Phew. Oh, that makes that box come up. Okay. Now I can push it this way. And make myself a bridge over here. To, uh... Nowhere. Because this lever is annoying. <laughs> okay, so I need to do it a little bit differently, clearly. <laughs> hmm. Oops. It's just so, so a mistake was made here. Uh, let me just see. Pretty sure this one just goes here. Uh, but then this one... I think I want to put it here. Uh, I'm just going to do this in order to hit that. Uh, because then I can get this one. 
push it this way. There we go. Oh. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Can I read that? It's fun. I think it's like the gravestone of fun or something. <laughs> oh, maybe it was BQM. It could have been BQM. Thinking out of box. The button do. Okay, that gives you a little bridge. Uh, I assume I can bomb my way into there. Is that what I want to do though? Uh, that didn't work. I think I need to use the second bomb for something else, so... I, I need to put the bomb somewhere where I can get, get past the box and use it. I think I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, then I put the bomb there, sent here. I did some damage, which is not ideal, but it worked. <laughs> I don't know how people are completing these levels in four seconds. They, they, they've got to be doing something sneaky. Like, I, I am solving the puzzle as I go, and not everyone would be doing that, but... All these guys, so I can get their cool weapons. There we go. Uh... Hmm. I know my bow can shoot through there, but maybe I want to use my wand? Set the bomb off with a fire? Yeah. Okay, then I use the arrow, put the switch, and I can leave. Okay, cool. I'll probably switch over to the builder mode, like, once I finish maybe this page. Because I'm getting the hang of how you play it already. It's, it's not that complicated. <laughs> Okay, I need these two to be here and here. And I need the bomb to be here, and then I stand here. There you go, easy. Uh, yeah, sure. It's called Bob the Builder. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, okay, let's see, we've got a moving box. We've got a button here that doesn't seem to do anything. We want to get over there. Hmm. We have nothing in our inventory. There's another button here. Oh, hang on. Do I need to put the box on the button to make something happen? I would like to be able to pull boxes, but it's a Thokovan game, so I understand why I can't. Oh, that puts that up. Okay. So now that I've done that, I can push this here, that there, then I can get a bridge. Uh, but it's in the wrong spot, uh, because now I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, so push that up first. I was actually hitting the box itself in the water. Okay, I did not work that way. Alright. Um, what am I missing here? Okay, I can only land in one of those two spaces because of the way that the, the raft is arranged. It means that these can only go here and... Mm, be useless, basically. Pillars and things in the way. Hmm, what am I missing here? I wonder if this is all like a misdirect and there's something I can do over here to get across. I just haven't noticed. Feels like that might be a possibility. 
Oh, hang on. If I do it over here... Then I can get all the way across. Push that in. Okay. That's gonna get another brick, a block there, but that's not really any more helpful. Because I'm still stuck. Hmm. What am I missing? Because it's not the type of level I was anticipating. Not the type of game I was anticipating, I mean. Wrong word. Fun though. Um... Yeah, the, the, it's gonna fall off either at the top or the bottom, regardless of what I do. But if I do it like that... Yeah, then I need to push this one in in order to get anywhere. Um, but then I can't do anything with these. Hang on, hang on, I've got an idea. Let's watch the movement again. Okay, so no, the, the, the raft cannot get, like, over here and drop the crate on this side, because... When you press the button, that's when the crate just falls off on either of these two positions. Hmm, what am I missing? I think I'd see something sneaky from this angle that would give me a hint, but no dice. Hmm. The raft is over here now, so I can do that. That help me. No. No, that's that's not any different. Hmm. I wonder if I can just push it from here. I can! Okay. Hmm. I kind of wish it's had an undo button. Like, a lot of Soka bands do. Like, you can just undo your last move if you put something where you didn't want it. This game does not seem to have that, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to do something like this. Oh, let's get a, a box across. Uh, and then I can use these buttons to move the raft somewhere else. Uh, does that help me, though? Mm, not really, because I still have this crate here. Hmm. Hmm. If these pillars weren't here, it would be a lot more straightforward, but unfortunately the pillars are here. Uh, I'll, I'll try this one like once once or twice more, and then I'll switch over to builder mode and see what I can see how that works, because that's probably more interesting than me doing this over and over. I need to press both of these switches to, to raise those, which I can't do unless I have a box over here. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's just switch over and have a look at... Oh, I got some more meat. Got a shield, apparently. Um, more piles of money. I assume that this goes in here somewhere? Yeah, I, I can equip a dagger and a buckler, and I guess I get more bodies as well as I play? More, like, more designs for my character? 
Uh, let's try going to build. See what build does. A builder is a highly admired occupation in BQM, and it's everyone's dream to become a top builder among builders. Let's aim for it too. You can create and edit dungeons in my box. Once you put the dungeon into the share box, you can publish it to the Builders Guild and show it all over the world. Choose a free slot to create a new dungeon. Be careful because the number of dungeons you can create is limited as there are only 100 slots. There's 120 slots. Aren't there? Yeah, 120 slots. Hmm. You can change the dungeon's name and summary after saying you cannot change size. Let's start with a little one. That's probably fine. Oh, a little baby dungeon. Can you type in a number? You can. But you can put in any number you want. This is the builder menu where you can create dungeons. There are two main modes, map mode and event mode. In map mode you can create wall floors and walls, in event mode you can set traps, monsters and other items. You can change between modes at any point by pressing the button in the upper left corner. Create maps and set traps. Uh, yeah, I want some grass. Oh I see, the, the D-pad uh, switches between what things you have equipped. Ecom is all about our link system. Let the link can gain victory, build complex dungeons and build divers to their knees. Switch and door, monster and door, things connected to action, this is Link. Link is basically power connecting objects. You can set Link by tapping the Link button on a starting object. Your target will be some other object. For example, select a switch, then press the Link button and tap the door as a target. Voila, the door opens by using Link. What's more, you can create multiple Links, making them in series, like two doors opening with one switch. Try getting some Links to see if they work properly with the preview button in the bottom right. Okay, so... I think what I would like to know at the moment is whether this works with the touchscreen. Uh, because I'm getting the vibe that it should. I don't know if it does. Any unbreakable types of walls? It doesn't look like it. trapped now. I'm guessing if I start I'll just fall, right? Yeah, sure. I didn't place any floors. Yep. <laughs> you have respawned. Uh-oh. <laughs> I get retired. <laughs> it takes a little longer to switch into into uh, play mode than it does in Mario Maker, which I think is a bit of a problem. Doesn't really seem super flexible either. Um, it seemed to be able to like really layer pieces super well. Okay, there we go. You can see I can use my little cursor here to select all sorts of things. Are these the unbreakable walls? Yes, they are. Oh, I can zoom in and out. Okay. I'm wondering what this thing is. This little meter down here. Because it doesn't seem to be reacting to anything I do. I have water, and is that lava? Blood pond. I don't like lava, but it's blood. We've got levers, buttons, link door, link floor, key door, pushable box. Switch two, uh, campfire, can make a fire. Short message, uh, rolling boulders, needles, up and down floor, shooter, skip floor. Does the up and down floor allow me to, to stack things vertically, or does it not work that way? I'm having some trouble getting used to the controls here. <laughs> Item. Pretty much the things I've seen already. Climb, skeleton, orc. 
that. I don't know if I unlock more things like this as I play the game. It seems like the set is kind of limited. Let's just save. Uh, let's just flip over to the big webcam view and I'll see whether this works with the touch screen. I assume it does, but I would like to. Uh, so here we are. It's got it's showing the little map I've created. Uh, there's no image. I assume you have to take a screenshot at some point while you're editing in order to get an actual image. Uh, but if I, I just tap to edit with my finger, and now we're in edit mode again. And doesn't seem to be responding to the touch screen. Interesting. Oh, uh, maybe because I have the same floor type equipped. Yeah, it is responding. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to play some regular grass on top of regular grass, and so it didn't seem to be doing anything, but it, it was doing something. Yeah, we can tap on all of these. Oh uh, yeah, and it looks like the whole the whole interface does work with the touch screen, so as with Mario Maker, this is probably the best way to do things if you want full control over where you're placing things and you don't want it to be super annoying. Because I'm looking at I'm looking at the webcam view with my own face and it's backwards, so <laughs> I'm having a little trouble right now. Uh, yeah, you can place all sorts of events and stuff if you want. Boop 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 boop. It does seem a bit limited and doesn't seem to be a height control, but it could be possible. I just haven't found it yet. So pop it back over to regular view. Uh, it was this one, right? Yeah, this looks right. Okay. Uh, let me see, we've got regular pan, we've got an eraser, we've got, what's that, camera zoom tool. Okay, so you can just hold the button and zoom like this. I think that's more important when using the touch screen, because I actually just have uh, zoom buttons already. Snapshot, I gotta take it the thumbnail if you want one. Camera movement tool? Okay, that moves the camera like that. Which you can already do with the right stick, but if you were using the touch screen, you might want to do it that way. I'm definitely seeing an absence of height options here. Okay, we've got place event, select event. It does seem a little limited. A friend! Oh, here we go. I placed an enemy here. I now have a bunch of options on this side. Uh, item. I guess when you defeat them, you can have them drop something, like, for example, a key. State? What's state? I don't know what that does. Uh, let's see what happens if I beat him, I guess. <laughs> oh. Oh, whoops. I can't, I can't get over there. I have like a little angel, uh, halo because of the state flag. I don't know what that does. Uh, whoops, uh, I meant to retire. Okay, so there's too many levers here. We're gonna get rid of some of them. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. There we go, now we can go. Go through. Uh, I would like it to be a bit quicker switching between play and uh, info modes than it is. It's a bit slow. Okay, uh, I don't know what the little angel thingy did. Seems to work normally. I'm confused. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, uh, you can connect your little switches and stuff up to uh, doors like this. Boop. Uh, and then if I go back to map view and I go to walls, place own wall there, and then. We will need to flip that switch to get out of this room. Let's change the wall floor in here so it's brick like this. Uh, and that space too probably makes sense. There we go. Uh, and then we want to go back to link mode. And how do I create a link? Uh, it's like this thing. Link to switch and open door. Yes, please. I, how do I do this? 
to create this link. Do I need to select the, the switch first? Link target of the switch, that door. Okay, yeah, that worked. And you can see there's like a little arrow thingy pointing at it now, so I assume if I play the level... There's still something it doesn't like, but that's okay. Yeah. I can use this switch to open up the door, and then I can go outside and beat up this guy. So you don't have a lot of uh, options to make Zelda-ish levels. Uh, it looks a bit like Zelda, but it doesn't really play like Zelda. Uh, but as, you know, a toy, a, a little, a little, uh, tiny soaker band sort of, uh, experience, it looks nice. Uh, it's not, it's a little finicky to use the builder tools, it's gonna be easier with the touch screen than it is with the, the other screen. <laughs> Uh, this drink. Make some more brick. Uh, then we get some nice walls. No, not that kind. Uh, this kind too. Yeah. Okay. And I haven't figured out how to flip things around yet, which is kind of important, so how do you do it? It's facing the wrong way. Uh, do I like press on this bit? Oh no, that just changes how it looks. There's some nice options there. Um, how do I rotate it? Can I rotate it? I, I must be able to, right? Uh, I can see the little rotation symbol, I just don't know how to do it. Um... Oh, you just press A and not like that. Okay, that's easy. Cool. Uh... There we go. Uh, no, hang on. Now I want to select this one again. Change its state. Just she makes it open by default? Yes. Then, if I go into my dungeon... There's definitely something it doesn't like about what I've placed in the level at the moment. Oh, oh it's the drop downy thing. Yeah. Okay, now we're stuck because the door... Because this door does not open with a key. <laughs> okay, um, but if I flip the lever over here, which is hidden behind the wall, to remove it, then that door is open, but now I'm stuck over here. I have created an impossible situation. Deliberately. Because <laughs> I'm being silly. Um, okay, yeah, let's move that, move that switch a little bit so it's a bit more visible. Can I just drag it? Yeah, just like that. And we'll get rid of this thing. Oop, there we go. It's gone now. Um. So yeah, it is. It is definitely a bit limited, especially in the way you can't really stack things up. As far as I can tell, you have floor and you have walls, and that's about it. It's it's like a it's like a two D game basically, which is what Sokoban is. So I'm not surprised that that's how this game is as well. But uh, it's a little disappointing. Um. It would be nice to have the ability to build more complex uh, levels than that, but you don't seem to, which is a shame. Chuck some water in, just make, it, make a nice little pond over here. There we go. Uh, and I'll put a beautiful forest of flowers in the middle. There we go. <laughs> and I'll put something... Uh, looks like I can't place the little meat. I'm guessing they get placed automatically in the level when you, like, share it. Maybe they're only in the official levels. The arrow over there. 
is impossible to reach because I am a cruel person. Uh, let's place a campfire as well and see what that does. The state. Oh, yeah, currently burning. That's what I want. <laughs> so, yeah, the controls are a little fiddly. It's definitely going to be better if you're using the touch screen. Boop. Okay, we got a fire. Hello. Okay, they know how to walk around fires, unfortunately. <laughs> they can pass find. If I walk into it to take damage. I do, and then the fire goes out. Interesting. Okay, I can put another lever. Let's see. Uh, switch. Switch. Yeah, yeah, the first one. This kind. Uh, just here. Oop, that's not right. Uh... Uh, I think so. Oh, I can just move it. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll work. Just move. Pop it in here. Place it that way, because that's going to look better. Uh, then we need one of these things. Regular intervals? I mean, I, w I want a floor that moves up and down, but regular intervals doesn't sound quite right. I guess we'll see what happens, uh, and then I want to, no, not, no, I don't want another one, uh, delete that one. Yeah, the controls are a bit fiddly. <laughs> uh, you link to that. Can I create this link? Oh, I see. You can link to doors, but you can't link to that thing. So I, I assume I need something else. Oh, I probably need this one. Link floor. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so... We need to erase this event and... And place one of these instead in the same spot. Okay. They look the same, unfortunately. Uh, which is a bit confusing. Uh, that'll do. Okay, and then I go back to the drag of things around mode, and I link you. This is definitely more designed to be played with a touch screen rather than just uh, moving your cursor around by the looks of things. Which is manageable, but a little frustrating. There we go. Uh, and then we'll just get rid of this campfire, I think, because it's just not relevant. There we go. That gives us a pretty simple level. It, it can actually be completed. <laughs> Yeah, you start here, you flip this lever, you go, oh no, uh, I need to get through here somehow. Uh, you, you fight the boss. The combat isn't very interesting, so this is not a good level, but it, it's, it's a level. <laughs> and then I forgot to attach that so that the door is actually open. Uh, retire. I need to link that switch to the same doors. Or possibly to the other switch if it'll let me do that find out if you let me do that. No. Alright, uh, you go to this door, and that will toggle both the doors in the same way, which should do the trick. Uh, oh no, what have I done? Are this which is interfering with each other or something? Hmm. Maybe? Hmm. Uh, I haven't seen logic gate in here. Uh, which you would need for this, this level design to work. Maybe. Hmm. I figured this would automatically, like, or, so it would apply if either of the Either of the two were active, but it doesn't look like it works that way. Uh, let's move this over here, just a little bit of an experiment. Uh, link to this door. No? Didn't work? Uh, there we go. Now let's see what happens.
Okay, now that door is... This lever is now controlling the door instead of the other lever. And I have two levers controlling the same door, because that's what my idea is here. Uh, finish editing. I assume there's some, like, instructions information here somewhere. Shop, Builder's Guild, Ranking, Friends Box, Mine, Save, Profile, Migration. I haven't seen, like, a documentation section. Not in the Builder's Guild, is it? Don't forget to check the Builder's Guild for your dungeon sales. Dungeons you share with others bring you gold. The more divers give it a try, the better. Okay. Oh. You can have parts to extend your map creation. Okay. Uh, let me see. These are just like walls and stuff. There's lava and poison, which I guess are more interesting, but I'm not seeing anything that would give you more logic, which is what I'm looking for. Handle switch. Jump. Floating bomb. Note button. Change draft direction. Raft, gong switch, Chinese gate. Okay, so it's definitely a bunch of stuff you need to unlock that you don't start with. Capacitor, path, parity. Yeah, that's what I need. That thing. But the game does have those things. Path box when at least one comes in. That works too. So, this one's like an XOR gate, kind of. Uh, a I'm, I'm mini, a mini thing, Dexor. Just chest and store items. Warp. Uh, yes, yeah, teleports you somewhere. Okay, so there are a lot more items than you start with. You can buy more. You make music levels by some of these because there are note buttons. Press it. Jump. Okay, so now I've bought the things I just bought. I think I can go back into build and make my level work. Edit. Because if I go back to event, I should now have... Yeah, these extra things. So... Uh, if I take one of these and put it... Um, let's say there. I should do the trick. And then... We go back to modify mode, and I link this... to the box in the corner. Like that. And then I link the box to this door over here. And then I link this switch also to the box in the corner. Like that. Uh, right on for even numbers off for odd. Let's see what happens with the current settings. I'm not quite sure if I need to toggle anything. Nope, that's perfect. Okay, so you can you can in fact do the level I wanted to do. Uh, let's just move the switch so you have to fight the boss and we'll see how it works. This is not good level design because the combat in this game is not very fun. But I just wanted to see if it was possible and it seems to be, so that's cool. Uh, and yeah, if you kill the boss, it, that happens. Yeah, that's right. Okay, the test. Okay, now we get a boss. Level up! And you can shoot either of these levers, actually. You could shoot that one, and it would do the same thing. Boop! Dungeon clear! Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... This game does something I kind of wish Mario Maker did. Uh, which is... The, your reward for both building levels and playing levels is being able to unlock more useful parts. Um, in Mario Maker 2 you get coins from doing the story mode levels, but those coins are only used to progress the story mode. They don't they don't unlock things. Um, well, they, they kind of do because the story mode unlocks like me costumes and stuff, but the parts for actually building levels are, only, are all unlocked at the beginning. 
uh, I think this is a lot more interesting. Uh, because, yeah, you start with a fairly limited set of parts, it's easy to understand. As you play the game, uh, you gain the ability to do more interesting things, like I've just done here, using basically an XOR gate sort of thing. XOR, right? State off odd for an odd number of link powers. So yeah, one or the other, but not both. Yeah, that's right. It's XOR gate. And I think that's that's just a lot of fun. Um, I do think the controls uh, for getting this to do things are pretty, are pretty jank. Uh, finish editing. Oh wait, I should take a take a thumbnail screenshot. How do I do that? That's uh, you go over here. Definitely gonna be better off controlling it with. Uh, hang on, can I change the background color? Is that what this does? Um, doesn't look like it. I'm not sure what this does. Make it pink? Pink now? Oh, that does change the background color. Okay. Uh, put purple. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> cool. Uh... <laughs> Victory! <laughs> uh, yeah, um... Like, it, it's a different style of, um, game, obviously. It's not a platform game builder. It's basically, like, a, a slightly more complex Sokoban builder. Uh... Which is fine. Um, Sokoban's a fine game, and I think... I think it can be pretty interesting to build fun stuff with it. It does seem like... A some pretty popular, like, stuff is happening here. I, I don't know how many, like, uh, dungeons exist in this game. I'll hit Builders Guild recommendations and see what comes up. Uh, like Mario Maker. Like, it's Mario Maker. It's very popular. Uh, you can see that there's uh, a decent number of different uh, creators here. You can see a couple of different names. Uh, they seem to have some pretty popular stuff going on. So, yeah, it, it, it does seem like the game is being played, so there, there are going to be dungeons you can get through. Um, it's definitely not a Zelda-like experience, uh, which is kind of what I went in expecting, and it's it's not that. It's it's a voxel, uh, rocks and diamonds, Sokoban, uh, Boulder Dash, I think is another game with that, in that genre. I think rocks and diamonds is like an open source clone of Boulder Dash, but yeah, it's, it's that kind of game. It is, it is not... It is not, like, a Zelda action-adventure, uh, save-the-princess fantasy sort of thing. Uh, but it's- it's fun. Um, I would- I- I do think the building controls are a little unwieldy, but I also think they're pretty capable. Once I had a look at the little shop thing you can use, uh, to unlock all sorts of new parts. Uh, check out the body options as well. Thief, wizard, priest, archer, berserker, knight, warrior, dancer. Okay, so, like, this doesn't affect the gameplay at all, obviously, but it is nice that there's a bunch of different things you can choose as your your appearance. Uh, it's like the only one that's obviously a girl, so I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> uh, of course I am. Uh, that's an NPC. Oh, I see. Map parts like, um, floors and ceilings and stuff. Event parts, like, in the event section of the builder. I was thinking event parts, like, these might be like a time-limited thing, but that's not what that means. It just means you use them in the event part of the builder, which is where all the links and stuff happen. So, nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can get an NPC and they can walk around. And I assume you can probably talk to them because you can add messages to things. So, that's pretty neat. Uh, I just want to go into Explore a little bit more, now that I've picked up a computer design for my character. Uh, we're just going to go back into the official dungeon and just do a little bit more. <laughs> uh, I might just jump over that Bob the Builder level and see what the next one's about. Of 
rolling rock. Okay, so there's a rock there. Uh, there's a button here which makes that come up. I think I'm gonna do this. Yeah, there you go. Easy. I have no idea how Drago Legato has done all these levels in five seconds. That doesn't seem possible. But yeah, you can see it's really a similar experience to Mario Maker in terms of how you get your levels and how they're designed and stuff like that. Uh, which is which is a lot of fun. Mario Maker is a fun game. Uh, hmm. No items or anything. It says you use raft to move boxes. Oh, oh, I think I get it now. Okay, so you push this one down, then you get this one, you push it to line up with that one, push it like this, onto the raft like that, then you can mess it up. <laughs> okay, so you push it across, push it across. Then, you can push it back onto the raft at a different point, which can be more or less anywhere, provided the raft is there. Uh, like this, and then boop. Wait. Wait, no, it, it can't be there. It has to be where the other one is. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I do love to mess things up over and over. that in there, get on the raft, leave the level. Okay. <sighs> Again, I don't know how they did that 10 seconds faster. I, I assume it's possible, but... Uh. Beat Bloody Skeleton. Okay, so this is the first, like, combat-themed stage in the Visual Dungeon, I assume. Get some arrows. Oh, it's not exactly combat-themed. We're going to do is shoot him, right? Oh! No. Two arrows is not enough, I need to do something else. I see. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you have to time it so that they fall down the hole when, when, the, when the arrow hits. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Timing. <laughs> I'm bad at it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I can get the fire wand if I wish. And I can... Do that, figuring out all of those. Gets me a key from the chest, which lets me leave. Okay. That was not hard. I was just messing it up real bad. <laughs> uh, there's only one way. Watch out when you jump. Okay, we got a bunch of rafts. Gonna uh, immediately mess up. Oh, hang on, the platforms just fall after a few seconds by themselves? They do? Okay, so you have to be quick. Um, hmm, there's a lot going on here. Kind of busy. What's this do? Okay. Oh, well, that finishes the level, so I guess the other stuff wasn't really required. <laughs> Distance switch.
Uh, I have noticed that these levels say free on them, as though there are levels you have to pay to play or something, so... Uh, before we, we are done, I am going to investigate what that means. Uh... Oh. Oh, I, I get it. Okay. Y you need to bomb the right spot, so that the bomb, uh, will... You basically set the bomb off so that it blows up that one directly up of me. I think the way you do that is to get on the raft about there, except correctly. Uh, I have no sense of timing, it's wonderful. Okay, uh, boop. <sighs> yeah, that wasn't it. I need to set the bomb a little bit earlier. I wasn't sure how long it would take to go off is the problem. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Then you use the arrow to hit the switch. And you threw. Not hard. I just messed it up because I'm bad at games. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to quickly go out of the official dungeon. Uh, yeah, I got some meat. Uh, then I'm going to go into, yeah, Builder's Guild Recommendations. I'm going to try playing one of these and see if it charges me or my, my gold or something. Oh, I see how it works. Hang on. You can see a bunch of them say free. Some of them say 10. Uh, like this one, for example. So, occasionally it will charge you gold, but you can get gold back pretty easily by the looks of things, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. And I'm guessing that means that the person who made the level gets a bit more gold when I when I play it. Which, which is probably fine, I'm probably happy with that. On top of this, do I go up? I oh, know, I just stop it from going up. Uh, I think I'm stuck in here now, so... Oh, no I'm not. I can go over here and just wait. Ow. Okay. This looks elaborate. That's a lot more complicated than the base game stuff I was already looking at. <laughs> hmm. Let me see, I've got a bomb. I've got a fire wand. I have an arrow. I'm wondering what I want to do with all of these things that I happen to have. I, I can shoot my arrows at those guys, but I don't think that'll achieve much. Let's give it a try. Oh, there's actually a wall there. I, I can't shoot my arrow at those guys. Okay, let me just experiment with this little puzzle. Once I've solved this one, I reckon that's a video. I pretty much said what I want to say. Okay, so we get the things we need. It doesn't really look like I can do anything over there yet, so I'm not going to go that way. Oops. Probably shouldn't have... Yeah, I probably need to put that crate somewhere else, so that's probably a mistake. I don't know where, though. Oh, I can put the crate on that switch there. Let's see what that's. Let's see, let's see what that does. Hang on. Considering it's a soaker ban, I feel like retrying should be a little bit quicker. Uh, it's not too bad, but it, it could stand to be a little quicker. Uh, okay, that's how that works. And now it's stuck in that corner. <sighs> can I just uh? Mm, hang on. No, it's stuck again. I don't think I spend 10 gold every time I retry, but maybe I do. Okay, so if I push that there, then I... Uh, no. I'm not quick enough. Um, hmm. This is quite the puzzling puzzle. Okay, let's get these things. I don't think the bomb works on these castle walls. It might work on this, so let's give that a shot. Doesn't work on that. Maybe it works on the castle walls then? I am very confused. Like, this is a 10 by 10, which is the same as mine, but there's so much more going on. Uh, what if I put a bomb? Over there. Okay, it damages the walls. You can see they've been like, charred or whatever, but they're not broken, so that, that isn't it either. Hmm. 
Hmm. I can push the crate into the water, but I don't think that really helps me. Uh, because then I can't get to anything by doing that. Hmm. I can see a fire... Uh, a candle over there I might need to ignite. It's raft. If I can get the raft moving, that would be really helpful, but... Uh, I don't know how. This, this switch alone doesn't seem to do... Hang on. Let me just zoom out a bit. Oops. That wasn't zooming out. That was blowing myself up. <laughs> Which button to zoom? Is it this one? Yeah. Hey, you, that's just a top-down view. Whoop. Oops. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's, there is a little button here. Doesn't seem to do anything as far as I can tell. It might need to be pressed along with something else, but I don't know how to get to anything else, so... Hmm. That just doesn't go up, so I can't use that to gain height. It, it only goes up if... Maybe... Maybe I want, I want to put this crate on top of the other crate? I don't know if that'll do anything. Doesn't seem to do anything. I'm just stuck now. Hmm. This is quite the... quite the pickle. <laughs> hmm. I can't just- I just can't get into most of the level, because there's, there's this obstacle right at the beginning. I wonder if putting the bomb here makes a difference. Bomb. No. I can figure this out. I can- I can solve this puzzle. It's- it's so simple, all you gotta do is... I don't know. <laughs> I've got no idea. <laughs> I'm completely lost. Um, I'm trying to think of where actually is the exit. I can't actually see it. See, when you're standing on the crate, it just doesn't move up. So you can't gain height in order to get through that way. Hmm. There might be a secret mechanic that you learn about later in the official levels that I just haven't gotten to yet. In which case, I will have a bit of a problem. push it if it's there. I might, I might just not be able to figure this out. <laughs> I assume it needs to be completable to get uploaded, like how Mario Maker works. So there must be something I'm missing here, but I, I have no idea what. Can I blow up that thing? Oh! Oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, <laughs> we've made a breakthrough. <laughs> okay, so if I place uh, the bomb there, and then I walk out of the way, it pushes that thing into the water. Uh, back to the default again. And then I can push this crate. It lets me get to here, but uh, there's someone staying in the way. Um, hmm. But I can also place the bomb that pushes it that way, and then I get a bridge. Okay, yeah. I, I, I'm... Little Grey Cells. <laughs> That's a Poirot reference. 
Uh, yeah, grab all these things. And then put the bomb there. I stand over here. There we go. Then I can go this way. Does the sign say anything? Exit on the other side. Oh, it's through that portal. Okay. What does that button do? No idea. Okay, now I can push the crate in order to get over there. Do I want to get over there? How do these drawer bridges get activated? This button activate them? Oh, hello! Raft is now moving. Okay. I feel like I probably shouldn't have pushed that crate there, but I have now, so... Oops. Okay, the two blue switches have to be pressed together, I think. Okay, open. Okay, then you go to here. Drop a bomb. This blue switch by itself doesn't do anything. Uh, but this other blue switch can be reached in order to activate the raft. Let you get over there. Was I supposed to not use the bomb? Is there something else I can use to push to push that crate? Let me try the other objects and see if they push it too. Because if I can use a bomb once I get over there, then I can bomb my way through there. Uh, that doesn't work. Does the fire water work? No, neither of them do it. Only bombs work. So... Looks like I need two bombs, but I don't have two bombs. I have one bomb. Okay, bomb there. That gives me a bit of a pathway to get to here and get more arrows. I'll press this lever as well. Uh, I think I need to kill the little slimes, but I don't really know how. Can I shoot them with arrows from here? Oh, I can! Okay, it's, it's like a low wall, so I can shoot over it. Which gives me whatever this is. Oh, it's a chest! Uh, what was in the chest? Another fire rod. Hmm. Is that achieved? Hmm. I, don't, I still don't have any more bombs. Which seems to be what I need, but I don't have them. Uh, does this guy do something special if you hit him with a fire rod? Oh! Y yes! I have activated the golem. Okay, so I can get that guy to move by zapping him with a fire rod. Is that something I want to do? Because that means I can use the fire rod instead of using a bomb. Yeah, I can use the, the fire rod... I, I can use the two crates I have. Oh, no, wait, no, I need to use a bomb to push it into the water still. Hmm. Well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I can use a bomb there. And then I can use this crate to get to here, and I can zap you with the fire rod, and you'll start moving. Which lets me get access to this part, so I can press this button. And I can fall in the water by accident. Press this. Let the raft out. Get over here. That gives me a fire rod. What is that the fire rod for? very puzzled. Um, I think I'm going to call that a video because I am I am lost and confused. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this game, it's interesting. Um, yeah, I was definitely going in expecting something a bit different, but no, it's essentially 
It's essentially Boulder Dash, Rocks and Diamonds, Sokoban, with cute voxel graphics and the Mario Maker style of level sharing, and I think it's good. I think that's pretty cool, and I like it a lot. Um, I think the controls for playing the thing are a little fiddly, but apart from that, it works real well. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! No, the controls for building are fiddly. Uh, they could take it down to be a little, a little easier. Especially if you're not using the touchscreen. Uh, but the gameplay controls are fine. I don't have any problems with them. Uh, so yeah, that's this game. It's, uh, what was it called again? What Quest Maker. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!